Hey everybody, it is Egress and Sealy G, and I'm back today with another video. you from time down below we are back in with another wig video i know i know i know i told y'all i was gonna lay off the wigs for a second right my natural hair but i have an excuse y'all <laughs> so this wig i'm not really sure if i'm gonna wear it for, for at least if i wear it i'm not gonna wear it right now but the reason why i got this wig is because i'm interested in trying this color in a different hairstyle so i want to try out the color first before i go full fledged because if you know me you know the indecisiveness is not good but that's besides the point so we're back today with another amazon wig we're trying this is my second wig that i bought from amazon so we're gonna see how that works we want to see how the first wig went that was really nice with the big curly afro wig i put in the i cards and just check my page it's on there i like that i wore it for about a month it was pretty good but today we're trying this wig so let's unbox it and y'all, I've been waiting to try this with y'all. I've had this sitting in, sitting on my floor for like a week or two now. So as soon as you take it out the Amazon bag, it's gonna look like this. It comes in a black bag, and then it's like clear on that side. Um, I'm not even gonna try to say this name because I might butcher it. But all the information will be down below. I have the same exact link for where I got this wig to. So we have a wig cap they gave us two of them but of course it is the one that is not meant for my skin color at all but it's okay <laughs> and then we have the wig ooh, ooh, ooh. and nothing else came in the bag but so it's just the wig cap and the wig itself so get into it get into it <laughs> So get into it, get into it. Y'all see the colors. Like I said, this is different for me. Last year, we did try sort of like a ombre burgundy color for homecoming to, you know, school pride. Even though we're not burgundy, but red. But I don't, uh, red is just too vibrant for me at the moment. But this year for homecoming, I want to try a red look all the way. So that's why I'm doing this, just so I can see if I like it. But this is the color. I'm excited. I'm excited. So she's red all the way through. Ooh. She's red all the way through from the roots to the ends. And she's straight. What is the... Um, there's no tag on this. And like I said, I got it some time ago. So let me pull up, actually, the... I guess details of this wig. According to the Amazon thing, it claims to be 20 to 22 inches. Of course, it is a burgundy color. And then it's supposed to have 13 by three lace. So it's not a lace. Well, it is a lace front, but it doesn't have the whole thing in the back. I don't know. It's a T. Yeah, something like a T. So we have lace, ear to ear lace all the way around the front, but it only goes three inches right here in the middle. So not too, too much, but it only costed $49.90 or that's how much it costs right now. I got it for $47.90, I guess it was on a sale at the moment. But yeah, so it's not too much. You can't really expect a whole lot from it. Like I said, I'm trying this more so for the color than for like versatility and all that or all that other type of stuff. And it's also synthetic. I didn't say that earlier, but it's synthetic. It's not human. Um, but it's supposed to be heat resistant, so you should be able to put a little bit of heat in it, but not too much. I wouldn't try it, but you can if you want. So let's get into the cap construction of this. Like I said, we have the ear-to-ear -ear lace in the front. We have a T-part lace right here. Then we have our usual standard two cones, one right there, one right there in the front on the two sides. And then we have one comb in the middle in the back. And then it also has these adjustable straps. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it has these adjustable straps on both sides in the back. And the cap, it doesn't look like it won't be breathable. It looks like it's like a nice little net. So it shouldn't be too, too bad, like heat wise in the head region, but that's what the cap is looking like. And it has, oh no, yeah. 
so that's what the this is what the wig is looking like so let's go ahead and try to try this on now i'm not gonna lie with y'all my hair is not braided down because like i said i'm not planning for this right now so i'm actually in twist so we can just pop the bonnet off get into the twist get into the twist okay okay so i'm gonna try to put my hair in a ponytail. i'm trying to get it as flat as possible once again we're not really looking for installation stuff so much more so for the color but just to give y'all a vibe of what it would be and feel like i'm gonna try to get these twists down as flat as possible and then i'm gonna put a wig cap on let's pop it on top of all of this okay so it's definitely big head friendly because y'all already know i consider myself to be a part of the big head committee and i'm also i also have these thick twists in as well and it fit all it fit over all of that so we're doing pretty good in that department hmm i'm gonna need to flatten this down a little bit my only friend it's some gonna have to happen so actually let me go get some bobby pinder so i'm ready I think I managed to get it a little flatter. Let's put another one of these on. That's as flat as it's gonna get. So let's try this back on. So this is what she looks like on directly out the pack. Um, we can clearly tell that this lace color is definitely not gonna do it. So I'm gonna tint the lace. And this little part in the middle, y'all, this is the shortest, shortest part I've ever seen in life. And y'all know I'm a synthetic wig wearing girl, but this is so short. So we're gonna have to try to finesse it which I wasn't trying to do the most with this wig because I'm not really finna wear it, but we're gonna have to do the most with it. Let me go in and tint the lace. I'm gonna be tinting it with this even tinted lace aerosol spray. Y'all know this is what I typically use to tint my lace. So this is what I'm gonna do real quick. It's looking a little better now. Now it's just the wig cap under that's an issue, but once again, I am just trying this just for the sake of trying it. So I'm not even gonna go crazy on this wig cap being a different color. Not today, at least. Or at least not right now. I may do it later if it messes up the final look, but Let's go in and try to cut this lace.
Okay, so this is what we're looking like now with the lace cut. Yeah, I would say if you are someone who's actually going to be like wearing this girl for and gluing it down, it does need some plucking. Like there's no baby hairs, there's no natural hairline, any of that sort of stuff. Sorry y'all, there's a piece of hair in my mouth. But um, it does need some plucking. It's pretty full of a hairline, but because it's not black, you can't necessarily tell all the way. But I personally do think it would need to be plucked, but you can only pluck but so much. You really can't pluck at all. I'm not even finna lie to you. You can attempt to make it look like something, but because it's not like a full lace front, you're not really gonna get that far with it. But let's just move on to trying to style or do something with this. Um, so let me just pull it through. And let's see if we get any shedding. I will say I do have a couple strands that already came out with my fingers just running through it throughout this time. But let's see. And of course, we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. That's how you preserve your synthetic units. Because I know a lot of people will be asking if, asking under my YouTube videos for like the other wigs that I've tried, if they tangle and all that sort of stuff. And it's kind of like, what's well, a synthetic unit? They do tangle, especially if it's a curly unit, which most of my synthetic units have been up until now. It's going to tangle, it's going to mat. They're synthetic, you have, but you have to take care of it. That's the thing. And taking care of it starts with combing it. You don't want to be yanking through and stuff all the time from the middle. You want to start from the bottom and work your way up. And it is going to shed anyway because it's a, it's a synthetic unit. You can't really be asking for a lot when you're not paying a lot you know you get what you pay for it's how the saying goes okay it's gonna have to grow on me the color but i am liking it and i will say just for that and y'all for this to be a straight unit it's kind of surprising me but this is all the shedding that i've gotten so far let me try to pull it out for y'all and this is just from this just this one comb that y'all have seen me go through so far this is all the shedding that i've already got and i'm sure there's like way more on my pants and stuff this is how long it comes down on me right here and then in the back it's right at boogie length um but just to see this work just a little bit more magic i want to work in its favor today i'm going to try a i'm going to try doing some baby hairs and possibly flipping it over and doing something i don't know but it can't stay the way it is right now so let's try to do something and then i'll come back Y'all, what is this? They got some cut hairs, and this isn't even in the front of the hair, mind y'all that. This is right here, in the middle of the scalp. And it's like cut super short as if this is baby, as if this supposed to be baby hairs or something. And I haven't cut anything. And there's a lot more like it, okay. Confused, Um, but yeah that's weird and you don't see it when it's straight but when you try to do anything else with it they come out
I think this to the side, cute to me. Cuter than to the front, trying to fake out the little three inch um, part in the middle. The three inch part just already gives off fake. Like it's just not giving to me personally. But outside of that, I do think it's okay. I was able to finagle it a little bit. Pros and cons. <laughs> Pro, it's a lot of hair for the price. Another pro is the color. The color is beautiful. It still has to grow on me. I think I'm just somebody who needs a darker root just that can look a little natural instead of all of this. But with the style that I'm gonna be doing, you'll be able to see my natural black roots anyway. So I think it should be okay. Um, cons. Of course, this lace, I mean, if you are a men lady queen like myself, you already know that when it comes to trying out wigs, especially synthetic wigs, you're going to have to tint the lace. This is tinted, but it definitely needs to be tinted some more. Like I'm pretty sure y'all would be able to clock for a fact that it's a synthetic wig. But it for what I'm doing today, it's fine. Literally, all you need to do is get you a darker lace, tint color which i think i have but i just pulled this one it was the first one that i saw so you just have to make sure that you find the right lace tint so that would be key for this you have to tint it well <laughs> um and then of course your another con is having to cut your own baby hairs you know me i'm still i would still consider myself a beginner to this wig thing even though i think i've been doing it for at least two years now about to be two years um but I do think that um, you like you definitely have to cut baby hairs if you're gonna do it. There are no baby hairs, you're going to have to cut it. So just be prepared to do that. It's not super hard, just cut it and swoop it. You don't have to swoop it because I know baby hairs aren't a big thing, but for me personally, if I'm not going to be gluing a wig down, which I typically don't, doing the edges matters because if I don't do the edges, then like all the lace is basically not going to lay flat. But when I do the edges, it gives the illusion that it's laying down without me using any glue, if that makes any sense. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that's typically what I do. Um, another con was I showed y'all, there's like these short pieces of hair right here in the front, but it's not, it's not the baby hair. Like it's not the hair that's attached to this small amount of lace. This is the hair that's attached to actual wefts and tracks of hair that's sewn in. So it's really weird. Like there's some right here, but you can't see it because I use a little jam to lay it down, but that's weird to me. Um, I guess if you're wearing it just regular straight, then that's like, you won't be able to see it at all. But if you do try to put it to the side like how I did, that would definitely be an issue. Um, what else? Um, I think those are the biggest things. Other parts of it are cons, but not really because it's listed in the description. Like this, the track being basically right here is a con, but at the same time, when you bought the wig, it is listed as being 13 by three and not being like a full lace front anyway. So you kind of, you got what you paid for it. That's not something that you can reprimand them for. But other than that, I like it. Oh, another con. <laughs> I'm really not trying to give them all the cons, but I wouldn't be honest with y'all. I'm not trying to like put on just because it's a wig and just because it's a video. But um, it sheds a lot. This came out when trying to do it again, like trying to go through the hair again. And y'all, this is a straight unit. I mean, I've only tried one other straight unit so maybe that's why I'm like straight synthetic unit. So maybe that's why I'm just like not really understanding it. But this sheds way too much for it to have just came out the pack. Like just came out the pack. It sheds way too much for me. But it is a thick unit. So I think it would last some time. But like having to see the red hair everywhere, you're gonna have to be prepared to vacuum and clean up after yourself. Like I'm pulling some out. Like this just came out when I just raked my hands through it. So be prepared for shedding with this unit for sure. Tinting, shedding, um, cutting the baby hairs. 
I really think that's about it. The price is good, like I said. The color is really beautiful. I really do like this color. It's giving me a good vibe of what the color is gonna be like for me when I actually do the hairstyle that I wanna do. But it's cute. Um, another con, which I mean, it can't really be a con because you got what you were paying for. Is it's not very versatile. Like I did pull it over to the side, um, which is okay. But since the track is right there, it's weird. And since it's not like a full lace, you don't really, you can't really get like a full, full style out of it. But I will say I do personally like it to the side, which is weird because if you've ever seen any other wig video of mine, you know I tend to stick to the middle part because I think the side parts, although I'm a side part person in real life, like without wigs, I like side parts on my natural hair. With wigs, I've noticed that with my hairline, it's middle part or nothing at all. It's side parts just don't, it don't be looking right all the time. Because like even right now, you can kind of see a little bit of my natural hair popping out, my natural edges. But um, I do like the side part on this for me personally. It's, it's cute, it's really cute. Um, I think that's about it. It's not tangling, I'm not feeling or seeing any tangling. To me, it's not too shiny. I know a lot of other people say that certain synthetic wigs are shiny, but I do know when your hair is healthy, there typically is a nice sheen to it. And a lot of and a lot of natural hair as well, like their products to give your hair a nice sheen and shine. So to me personally, I don't think this is too shiny to where it looks like, oh yeah, you can clock from a mile away. That's some fake hair, you know? But I do like it. It's a big cap, like I said. So for smaller head people, um, you're gonna have to use the adjustable straps. You may have to also add an elastic band if it's just that big. Cause like I said, I consider myself to be part of the big head community and I have these twists on under here and it's still fitting for me. So that's how I know it's, it's a big cap, which is good, but it can be bad for other people. So take that whichever way you want to but i like it it's definitely cute it may i may pop this wig out closer to the colder months maybe when like i'm in between a style or something because it is cute she's cute i will have to like tint the actual lace darker and i'll have to be very aware like it couldn't be a day where i'm doing too too much because of the fact that like this just isn't a wig for that compared to any other wig that I've tried before, this just isn't a wig that I would wear a whole lot if you get where I'm going. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I do like the wig. I think it's a nice wig to test out a different color, which is why I got it because I didn't want to spend too much money and I wanted to test out the color and sort of the length as well. Because the, the when I do this with the style I want to do it with, it's gonna be vibey. It's gonna be cute. Um, and my edges are going straight, so that might be another thing as well. When you're doing edges on this unit, since it is a straight one, make sure you use more product because like it already came up, and I'm sitting here. I don't feel hot. I'm not sweating. So yeah. All in all, it's definitely a wig that you're gonna have to put some work into but I think it's a nice wig to just get your hands dirty and try new things with. I think this will also be cute cutting into it like a little bob. I don't know, let me stop, let me stop before I start. But this is cute, it's definitely cute, but it's not an everyday wig. It's not a wig for every occasion and it's not a wig that you're just gonna be able to plop on and go about your day. Take that however which way you want to. I wouldn't say it's beginner friendly, but because of the price, it is okay for beginners to try and get their hands dirty in a wig before spending a whole lot on a human hair wig or spending more on like a sensational or any of those sort of wig brands. But I promise y'all, after this wig, y'all probably won't see any other wig videos for some time. I do have some that I want to try, but like I said, I'm trying to give my natural hair a break and trying to give my natural hair a chance to breathe. But y'all stay tuned because I'm really excited for this next hairstyle that I'm going to do. It's going to be a vibe. It's going to be a vibe. But yeah, this has been me trying another Amazon wig, a burgundy straight 
long Amazon wig. I hope y'all like this video. If there's any other wigs that y'all would like to see me try once I start trying wigs back out again, it's probably closer to next year, but if there are any other wigs that y'all want to see me try, please leave them down in the description, not in the description, but in the comment section down below. I will leave the information for this wig in the description box below if you're interested in trying this wig out. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I be posting on TikTok more than Instagram now. I know you said I used to be on Instagram a lot, but I be posting on TikTok. So follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I, I am Sincerely Drew because of course you can see more of me on there and I'm able to just reach out and talk and communicate with y'all much more on those platforms. And make sure you subscribe to the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out because you know there's gonna be another video. I already told y'all the reason why I'm getting my hair done is because it's gonna be a big thing. I'm really excited for it. I'm gonna invest some money into it so these videos can be looking better for that. Just, just wait on it, just wait on it. So you want to be subscribed so you know when that video comes out. And with all, I love you all so, so much. And my name is Sincerely Dream, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.